The NORAD appliance is fabricated chair side in less than 30 minutes. NORAD's two-piece tray construction provides a hard acrylic outer tray for durability and adjustability. The inner thermoelastic portion offers a comfortable custom fit and maximum retention. To achieve maximum effectiveness and comfort with NORAD, please follow the following instructions carefully. Before proceeding, have the patient fill out the sleep worksheet contained in the NORAD patient care instructions. If their score determines they have a reasonable probability of being at risk for sleep apnea, it's recommended the patient consult with their physician or be referred for an overnight sleep study prior to any further sleep disorder treatment. To custom fit the appliance, you'll need the NORAD anti-snoring device, a NORAD bite guide, quarter-inch orthodontic type elastics, a thermostatically controlled hot water pot or microwave, tap water to cool the appliance, curved trimming scissors, and the NORAD finishing system. The NORAD anti-snoring device is available in two openings, 5mm and 7mm. The enclosed bite guide will help you determine which size NORAD to use. Have the patient bite on the first step, 5mm opening, and then on the second step, 7mm opening, breathing normally each time. Have them advance the mandible to a near edge-to-edge -edge position. The step that results in the best breathing indicates which appliance to use. If both sizes feel the same, start with a 5 mm. Once you're ready to begin, place the upper clear device in the thermostatically controlled hot water pot in rapidly boiling water for 3 minutes or in the microwave. Remove from boiling water and let it cool for 30 seconds before inserting in patient's mouth. The device still may feel hot, even slightly uncomfortable, but there are no harmful effects. The device should remain seated for 5 to 10 seconds. Then remove, rinse it under cool water, and immediately place it back in the mouth. Now you're ready to fit the lower device using the same procedure. Place the lower color device in boiling water for 3 minutes and then remove and cool for 30 seconds. With the upper NORAD in place, insert the lower device in patient's mouth. Initially seat the lower with light pressure and then have the patient bite down firmly against the upper device. Allow both upper and lower to remain seated for 5 to 10 seconds. Remove the lower device, cool it further under water, and immediately reseat it. Have the patient purse their lips around the entire appliance. Leave both devices in place for about a minute, and then have the patient slide their jaw from side to side while engaging the guides at the front of the appliance. If the teeth do not slide easily, place a small amount of Vaseline on the guides to allow for easier movement. Remove both the upper and lower devices and attach elastics in a triangular design. Reinsert the connected components and have the patient bite down and suck into the device for extra retention. If additional retention is needed, reheat only the affected component, this time for 90 to 120 seconds in boiling water. Then reattach the elastics. Place the assembled device back in the mouth and have patient bite down and suck in. Remove the device after 30 seconds, cool with water, and repeat the steps to increase retention. If the upper and lower components remain in place while the patient opens and closes, it's time to move on to the finishing process. The finishing process ensures maximum comfort and fit. Using a pair of curved trimming scissors, cut away the excess material protruding over the edges of the trays. Complete the trimming process using the carbide burr from the NORAD finishing kit in a slow speed handpiece. Next, use the three universal polishers from the kit, starting with the coarse green polisher, followed by the medium black, and finally, the fine yellow polisher. The final step in the NORAD fabrication process is connecting the upper and lower components with elastics over the cleats in order to prevent the jaw from retruding during sleep. The lower jaw should be placed in a comfortable, unstrained position using the notches located in the most anterior portion of both devices. Generally, this is the ideal position of elastics, but placement is ultimately based on the need for anterior repositioning. New patients typically become accustomed to wearing NORAD in just a few nights. Soft tissue or gum irritation may be a temporary side effect, though the inner portion of the tray provides a soft, comfortable cushion. Slight jaw pain or muscle soreness can also occur as the jaw is being repositioned. Other patients experience TMJ symptoms and excessive salivation, both of which usually resolve themselves with ongoing use. If there are other persistent side effects, the patient should see the doctor who made the appliance. It's important to review side effects and have your patient fill out and sign the patient information form, tear off that section of the form, and place it in the patient's permanent record for safekeeping. A follow-up appointment should be made 7 to 10 days after the initial placement, and then again one month later. 
Patients should then be seen every 6 to 12 months.